So friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is my second attempt to Bhaskara wheel, free energy source. And the idea is very simple. I'm gonna use water as uh, to power up this wheel. Uh, here is the tubes which are connected to each other. And here I'm going to use uh, seven numbers of bottles which I just saved after drinking the water so let's uh, get into the details and I'll show you how I made it so the idea behind this wheel is very simple uh, it is um, according to Bhaskara wheel design but uh, instead of uh, using liquid mercury I'm going to use water and this is uh, just an idea uh, if you find any better solutions you can share it uh, under the comment section so I decided to start with the 4 inch dia PVC end cap I purchased it then I drilled some holes using circular discs and I just uh, glued the caps of the of each bottle caps of each bottle into the holes uh, and also I uh, first I insert the PVC pipe into the hole and uh, then I glued the caps of each bottle cap of the each bottle into the pipe to make it more stronger then I drilled two holes uh, one for inlet and one for outlet this is smaller one which is basically you can see an L shape or 90 degree bend uh, is for outlet this is for inlet the water will come from this tube and exit from this tube so the idea is pretty simple the exit tube goes into the outer tube of the other bottle which is the second bottle not the first bottle uh, next to the bottle it should not connect the bottle next to it it should connect the bottle so this bottle will be connected to this bottle and then this bottle will be connected to this one this one goes to up so you guys can see it's pretty simple but uh, I believe it's a little bit unique design so uh, I was willing to share it with you guys so the tubes are interconnected once exit goes to the other not directly into the second one then this one goes to here this one goes to there this one goes to there and so on and so forth so I installed the ball bearings in between and uh, at the both sides you can see ball bearings I screwed the part over here and uh, the main thing this thing here let me give you a closer look this thing here is a special kind of valve which I designed by my own which I called it as a gravity valve it is working on gravity basically once the bottle comes to the lower end this valve is going to close in order to overfill this bottle okay once it starts rotating and it will climb onto the top it will close uh, this side partially and uh, will be able to release the air in order to uh, move the water going towards the other bottle so this is just the idea and let's see how it works in practical I will show you how I install this into the uh, frame so this is the frame which I designed to hold uh, these this wheel simply this goes inside here as you guys can see this ball bearing goes inside there and this one 
is connected into here perfectly and the wheel is free now without any water inside so let's fill it up and see how it is going to rotate after filling it with the water so I'm going to fill this uh, with the normal tap water and let's see the reaction how it performs so what I'm going to do here I'm just going to remove the bottle which are on the end of the wheel always on the lower side so I'm gonna fill each bottle with the second line marked on this one so let's fill it up okay that's pretty much full so I'm gonna do this with all the bottles and we'll connect it back to the line So now I'm going to fill all the bottles onto the same level. We have to be make sure all the bottle levels are as close as possible. Should fill equally. You can weight them all together in order to make them equal in weight. So let's fill it up okay four bottles are filled the fifth one the sixth one let's do this make sure the bottles are pretty good shape make sure the bottles are in good shape So this wheel basically works on water and as well as air. The air pressure that causes the water to flow up and down will help the wheel rotate. That's what I believe. So let's continue the test and install bottle one by one from the lower end. All right, one bottle is installed. The second one we have to make it tight in order not to make any leakage in between the bottles because the leakage will cause a lot of mess you can see very high amount of hot glue inside because uh, in order to make it watertight I just apply so much of hot glue so it is the moment of exciting now we are installing bottle number five is already there now we are going to this part is a little tricky what we have to do see the water is coming out from this pipe so we have to do, screw it as fast as it is possible so now all the bottles are filled with the same amount of water let's give it a spin uh, in order to make all the bottles equal in level
so you guys can see what's happening inside if you can see it closely let me show you what's happening once I start rotating Somehow it is trying to cover one revolution. I believe my calculation is uh, somehow not accurate. And that's the reason. <coughs> Maybe it's uh, not uh, rotating continuously. you guys can see it closely what's happening here So in order to make this wheel work properly we have to install the valves uh, which should be very accurate in, in water flow and also it should work each single time and this valves I believe are uh, uh, not working uh, accordingly some are working fine some are not working as I was expecting also the balance is uh, should be very very precise you can see it seems to be rotating somehow but it's getting stopped after one or two revolutions so you guys can see how the water is circulating in the pipes let me show you the reaction You can see here the wheel is uh, trying to go heavier this side automatically as you can see it is trying to continue its journey towards the right hand side but it's quite slow what's happening here so releasing the air into these tanks but these are getting filled with water so once these are getting heavier they are going down and the lighter one is climbing up so you can see it is slowly moving towards down as you can see the water is flowing outside very frequently 
some valves are not working properly as you guys can see this valve is not flowing any water up to this stage so I'm going to turn on the flash maybe you guys can see it much clearly so this one is still flowing a few drops of water and the journey is still continue you can see it's slowly completing its resolution and this valve starts to drain now the problem is the water inlet and outlet should be 100% precise if the outlet is faster so the bottle gets empty fast enough that may cause a unbalanced situation and if the water flows in faster it is also causing unbalance so this is uh, causing the wheel to stop I believe as you guys can see the top reservoirs the bottles are very low now and they are never going to complete the revolution okay so this is the end and it stops after a few re revolutions by itself but still let's hope for the best and uh, if you guys have any better idea and you guys believe I have any mistake I'm, I'm sure I have done a couple of mistakes uh, designing the valve may might not working properly or <clears throat> uh, the tubes are not uh, perfectly balanced or the weight is not calculated properly maybe but if you guys have some precision tools that you and you can make a very perfect balanced wheel just give a little try to this idea and uh, share your comments under the comment section hope you like this video please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel if you want to see more uh, experiments on the free wheel or free energy uh, please share your ideas and let me know what do you guys think about this wheel? Thank you very much. Have a great day. Bye-bye.